Well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled From Fear to Rage. And you may very well remember that in a lot of my blogs, I use this sort of literary device where the colonel and I are in our officers' clubs having uh, drinks and cigars together and having a little dialogue. I do it in this one as well. Um, and specifically, this the muse of this blog, for lack of a better term, uh, came from a conversation that Kayvon and I actually were having where we were discussing the concept of terrorism. And understand, terrorism has been around for thousands of years. And terrorism has, as its outcome, a very, very specific set of objectives. As a terrorist or someone who would employ terrorism, you're typically, when we're dealing with nation states, we're typically trying to effectuate two possible outcomes. Number one is to in effectively hinder the economic progress of your targeted enemy. If people are terrified to go about their business, they won't go about their business. And as a result, you can shut down an entire nation's economy, as so the theory goes. The other possible outcome using terrorism is to create so much pain on the part of the targeted population that they now begin to petition their own government to essentially accept the demands of the terrorists. Um, this was largely employed, interestingly enough, by the former Soviet Union throughout the rest of the world. And it actually has had some degree of success from time to time. Um, so that's the classical definition of a terrorist. What happened in Israel, um, that sort of now gets beyond the defining characteristic because there was no nothing that would indicate that the actions on the part of the terrorists were designed to achieve either of these two objectives. What could best be described is that their actions were just simply psychopathic murder. In fact, if it was in any other jurisdiction, we simply would have referred to their actions as a group of active shooters um, targeting a civilian population. In any event, um, it's something for you guys to muse on, I guess. Definitely read the blog. As always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.